so this is the final game of 2015 for me. I expected him to not lead his Hariyama this time because I could have just led Infernape Salamence again. He was surely going to lead Ampharos Crest. So that is why I led with my Excadrill instead. And he actually does end up leading with Hariyama Crest, which I thought was quite questionable because I could have done exactly what I did to stop Trick Room last game. So I'm forced to now switch in my Salamence to take the close combat. And I am going to fake out the Crest again, stopping the Trick Room. But now I'm in exactly the same position where I can just overheat and Giga Impact again. He does end up close combating into the Salamence, doing a decent chunk even when intimidated. But now I can just threaten with an overheat and a Giga Impact again. So surely he has to switch out his Crest into something that will take the Giga Impact and then he can just switch the Crest back in and then get up the Trick Room. So I end up predicting the switch and close combat into the Crest and I end up frustrationing the Hariyama. Now, he actually ends up leaving his Cresselia in, which I thought was probably the hardest read anyone could ever make, because I surely just overheat and Giga Impact again, and then I win, because Trick Room doesn't go up, and then I just spam Earthquake with Excadrill. But he actually goes for the Trick Room and gets it up, which is absolutely horrible for me. I could have prevented it, but he actually manages to read into my read of him, which was... Like, it, it was such a good play on his part in, in the end. Now he's in Trick Room, he can just start spamming Dragon Pulse all over the place. So I'm going to protect my Salamence to try and stall out this Trick Room. And he is actually going to end up doubling into my Infernape, which is again, a really nice play. I could have also prevented this by switching out my Infernape into my Exc Drill, because I would have been able to take the Dragon Pulse on the Ice Beam. I'd have kept my Sash intact, and I'd have been able to fake out some turns of Trick Room, but... Alas, the Infernape goes down to the double target, and now I'm in an awful position, because he's still got three turns of Trick Room left, and he can threaten my Salamence with an Oko with Dragon Pulse. But I'm going to bring in my Excadrill, which would be able to take two of the moves that he throws at me, unless he's got some weird, like, Focus Blast on his Ampharos. Don't even know what his, four his fourth move would be, because he showed Thunderbolt, Dragon Pulse, and Protect. I don't know what the fourth would be. But he's going to switch out his Zoom roll into... Uh, switch out his Ampharos into a Zoom roll. I'm going to switch out my Salamence to try and just take the Dragon Pulse terribly with my Superior. He ends up Ice Beaming what was the Salamence, so I am going to take a decent chunk with my Superior. But that shows that he's got no investment in, a, in Special Attack whatsoever with Cress. And I end up Earthquaking my own Superior because I'm a good player. That's the second time in the final I just Earthquake myself. But the first one did have kind of a reason. This one didn't so much. I probably shouldn't have switched out the Salamence. But now he's going to Aqua Jet onto my Extra Drill, doing a very decent amount of damage. And he's going to Ice Beam onto my Extra Drill, which is actually enough to take it out, even with almost certainly no special attack investment. So my win condition's gone. I'm going to leave Storm into the Azum Roll, which is going to take it out. I am at plus two now. And it is the final turn of Trick Room, so I have almost managed to stall out the uh, all, the all the turns of Trick Room which would give me a chance. So he's going to bring back in his Ampharos, and I'm going to bring, bring back in my Salamence, and obviously I've got to double protect to stall out the last turn of the Trick Room because there was no reason going for anything else because he would have been able to get out, get the double knockouts either way. So I'm going to protect Salamence, and I'm going to protect Superior. He ends up making the obvious plays of Dragon Pulsing into my Salamence and Ice Beaming into my Superior, which would have been a double knockout. But now Trick Room is over, and I do threaten him again with my fast Pokemon. I'm going to go for Leaf Storm. And again, I miss the Ampharos, which is awful. And I went for Giga Impact onto the Crest, which would have been fine if I'd have connected with the Leaf Storm. It would, everything would have been fine. But he actually makes a very nice play and Dragon Pulses into my Superior, which was quite confusing considering he should have still just gone for the Dragon Pulse onto the Salamence, the Ice Beam onto the um, Superior. And then he would have got the double knockout. But he actually <laughs> managed to read me again. Which is awful because now I've got to recharge and Dragon Pulse just takes out the Salamence. So I managed to lose the final. Which isn't so bad I guess. Like it was a cool team to lose to and I didn't play so well in the third game. But he, he managed to make some amazing plays which like it's all credit to him. That was, that was really well played on his part. So that was my final PC of 2015. The next, next videos will be my BGC 16 Regional in Wakefield where I did actually manage to win, so look forward to that. Thanks for watching.